It doesn't really matter, Bortle, to understand. Men are visual, we get that. If they find a woman attractive, they get to want to pursue. Marae bane, Bortle ba hao. Bortle koza hore basadi ba khotokhelo ro o lo kwenwa. Hole, ke mon. En bana ba tengi ba thuswa. Hore ba lo kwenya basadi ba teng. Ke maswabi he ko tshore ha o tsotse o le montle then you will end up. O le o inene wa nkutwa. O tlo o zodlengulwa hi ndota. E dalik makile. Dalik thakate e thaketile. And other women will stand back and do nothing. I don't know. I, I keep. I watch a lot of videos um, while I am doing my whatever on TikTok. And some of these women that do these TikToks, regular South African women, and I'm like, so ngege si sengenge ne andwe. Remember tatengi because right now we did inherit good genes from Abazalibetu. Remember tatengi just because we got dimples, just because in a beauty spot. Just cause he name is Inkle, just cause he was shopping or a sin in this man's name, just cause we are pretty, it, it appears in the fellow we're in danger. Bashi and Abafazi all over the show. Bashi, do you understand? Gaze Uzobulelo in the way which you just because your parents gave you good genes. A good, gorgeous daughter is not supposed to be protected. Obuse Ben Tombi is not supposed to be used as a weapon against her. Do you understand? And yet, Kimo, it is being used as a weapon. Tell Kat Halohanya, Basadiba Munzanzi, you are without excuse, Lankut. All of this. GBV against you. Frankly, you caused it. You don't deserve it. But you caused it. You, you, you caused it. It's again, Eric again, because Phil Taiki Mo Yao. Hi, what's up? I'm, I'm inside now. Uh, okay, yeah. All right. Kefil, it's a guy. Yes, like I said, there's a lot of beautiful women on online. There's just a lot of beautiful women at all uh, in the black community. And for us to just keep getting slaughtered like we are sheep, like going to the slaughter like we are cows being prepared for beef it's just unacceptable but anyway whatever so just to conclude the story concerning the alpha lipoic acid i took it uh those though like the basically two more over and above the two that i had taken 20 minutes prior and i was able to sleep like a baby so i realized that dosage was what it is that was at this point imperative to ascertain that i don't have problems anymore uh so this morning after waking up, well, it wasn't really morning, it was afternoon, like half past 12. I wake up at like, I woke up at like half past 12 and um, I didn't have any pains. I was just completely cool. The pains, however, started to come as I was busy doing the stuff, my stuff around the house, up and down, washing dishes and what have you. I took four. This time around, I just took four all in one fail sweep instead of two. And then 20 minutes later, another two. And the whole day, pretty much since like around 1 p.m., it's now... 1852 so it's almost 7 p.m at night uh i haven't had any period pains so it's exactly like grandpa now or any other painkiller it eradicated my pains those pills came to my rescue uh so now i don't have to take it every two hours like i said the 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 the, the main thing here was the dosage i just needed to get the dosage right and i took four instead of two and as a result for about eight to nine hours i am period pain free so thank god i did not have to deal with those period pains for the 48 to 36 hours that i tended to endure them back then the ala worked the alpha lipoic acid worked i'm not recommending this i'm just letting you guys know what happened i wouldn't recommend that you take al alpha alpha lipoic acid when you're on your period um to eradicate pain because just take a regular myprodol like just take painkillers as usual because you are not suffering the way that i'm suffering but i explained to you guys that alpha lipoic acid worked for me during a time when nothing else was pulling through i've got tampons to get me to the end of my period i've got painkillers to get me to the end of my period but i was supposed to basically use nothing but toilet paper throughout my period and just writhe in bed twisting like a log in it for the duration of time that it would take for my period to subside and in that time grumble against god feel like trash and thoroughly apparently allegedly deeply consider being with a man that would have of course killed me but not first before giving me hiv that is the kind of ridiculousness that is coursing through the veins of the black community that is how badly we are essentially passing away and i am trying to evangelize pretty much everybody be you black white pink or purple because everybody needs salvation but i am really really trying to send out a gargantuan olive branch to the black community's women to say y'all and i've done a video like this before but you know i keep coming with different angles to help you understand why this is so important we get that coming to christ takes a lot you have to take up your cross follow him daily deny yourself you also have to count the cost of being a disciple you have to 
separate yourself from the world and you you face a risk of being unpopular as a result you're gonna lose family you're gonna lose friends etc but that is a small price to pay for the protections that you gain as a black woman from the insanity of the black community the self-denial and the ostracization of your person the isolation of your person the complete disregard of you and the ignoring of your pain is th that is a small price to pay for godly protection that's the reason why these men are working so hard and women to make me abandon jesus the jealousy in the black community that is awarded those who give their life to christ is as exorbitant as it is precisely because of how much we become the exception to the norm and we escape a grain that slaps everybody else the situation is dire there is no protection nobody takes care of the black woman literally nobody nobody no not the black woman and certainly not the black man nobody has our back but us and uh, by us i mean not black women as a concert but you when only one you gotta have your own back and i'm sorry you're not gonna have your own back because you got a career you're not gonna have your own back because you have a car and your own house because here in last the deal i keep listening to all of these well-meaning women on, on tiktok giving advice to black women as to how to protect yourself from a black man i follow i don't really follow them because i'm not i'm not logged on right i i I've told you guys that before but they keep getting recommended to me and i listen to them their stories are the same all right and one lady who is a life coach is counseling women like i said she means well and frankly i largely agree with her and i and i love her content but in this particular regard i couldn't i couldn't agree with her where it is that she was like women men treat you the way that you allow them or men treat you more no sorry rather her commentary was along the lines of men know who to abuse thank you thank you son men know who to mistreat men know who to mistreat so women stop getting yourselves into relationships with men when you don't have money because he's going to use this money against you when you don't have your own car uzo kosha out of his car if you when you don't have your own house he's going to tell you at 12 p.m at night get out of my house men know who to mistreat so if you don't want to be mistreated by a man get all of your own stuff and make sure you have your own house to go to you have your own car to drive don't even let let yourself get to a point where your car is not in close, in close proximity to you at any given moment don't let him drive you to dates don't let him etc just take have your own back have your own back and always be able to call your own uber just in case he kicks you out of his house and go back to your own comfortable juvet you don't have to have a mansion the problem you ladies is that you want the estate mansion the problem is that the estate get me mention in you and if now you are prepared to take it at the expense of your peace they will make you a buy therefore so Plomila, you're sitting in an estate mansion there is no quality in your relationship and i to us a very small extent agree or maybe let me not say small because that's unfair maybe 40 percent of the way i agree only because the way that men are right now in 2024 especially in the black community they have no respect for where we come from at all men used to provide for women and women used to feel safe in their midst umfazi did not have to have a job to be safe with her husband she did not have to have her own car to trust that her man is not going to kick her out of his or refuse to pick her up because after a fight he's using resources against her men were just chivalrous in spite of differences that they had with women they just got what they needed to do there was a time when men did not use resources that women had in order to make their lives a living nightmare do you understand what is going on in 2024 is a demon it's a principality it's another thing altogether where that which you have or do not have is used to abuse you and so women are feeling as if they need to go and find protection in having a strong career they need to have uh, they find protections in having their own car their own houses and their own what have you when you're not looking at the root cause you're not you're not just realizing that at all because this lady speaks about how it is that men know who to mistreat just by mere virtue of the fact that a man can mistreat one woman and yet not another and this here is determined by nothing but material possessions just because this one is able to hold her own you are better towards her i'm sorry that is not a man i don't know what it is it's it's the clown it's candy man it is it's, it's 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 the grudge i don't know some horror movie character like freddy krueger it is not a man it is an opportunist that will literally rear his ugly head and bring forth fangs the moment an independent woman loses that independence for whatever reason because life happens like a fair weather monstrosity is not going to take care of you he is only going to brittle his flesh and hold his horses because you have your own house
You have your own car. You should be safe swinging on a hammock left to right, tranquil, almost like you're on a, a dinghy in the center of a very still lake, just swaying and let, letting the, 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 the motion of the water move you about, only relaxed, napping. You should be that way as a woman in a relationship in and out of wealth, in and out of a car, in and out of a house, in and out of like family love. A vows in marriage is sickness and in health good times and in bad richer for poor there's a reason why those vows are communicated or spoken or shared or exchanged in marriages because a dude should not be freaking fair weather and neither should a woman so to give women counsel and like i said this woman means well and i really like her and i like her content but she's not using she's she, there's a root cause lana i was successful all right i had everything i needed i had my apartments my cars lots of clothes lots of money Lots of ability to take care of my own self. And I had a boyfriend who at the time, when I was materially very strong, would never have done anything strange against me to a point where I actually thought he was a great guy. I thought he was a great guy. However, the flames that that guy showed me when I lost everything, just like it, I did not lose everything while I was with him. But that ex-boyfriend of mine, because of the bitterness of me refusing to, re to get back together with him, like the amount of witchcraft that he just piled on the insults on the existing injuries that he put on the reviling the mistreatment the witchcraft the colluding with my family the but basically that dude became a beast i never knew i was with that bugger for five years and what character flaws he wore in the season of my lack were so shocking to advance that i could not believe that it was the exact same dude when a person can freaking change like that purely because you lost a job i'm sorry you are not safe life happens okay life happens people lose jobs like people get retrenched businesses tank and if your husband is gonna act some strange fool because life happened yeah but you were never safe and the thing that i'm trying to highlight right now to women is that in the protection is from god y'all need to understand it is jesus that can make a man not fair weather. La matimoni avukayo entries you and da when you lose a job or when he finds you unyena a job. Ah shem. A Christian man is not out here in the streets hopping up and down on a beach ball with them. Gune recognition and understanding of ama vows, irrespect, intronipo for a relationship, marriage. Le rato la ratwa king lingalo la ratwa kibasalwan. And a lat hompa. Because Renale instruction from a source that is apart from us. We are guided by the Holy Spirit. We are not guided by the things of this world. If at all a man can treat you like trash, sisters. You're not safe. You are never gonna be safe. for five years, flames only Even before I lost my job, we were cordial. After breaking up, it was me losing my job that made him a monster. So the, the counsel of that lady, while she means well, and she's trying to help women along. Bottom line is, if at any given moment you find yourself in a dry patch and you are therefore now not safe with your husband, you were never safe with him at all. The only thing that was protecting you was material possessions which can flee out the window. Brick and mortar, which can pulverize because of extreme heat. You are dealing with an unstable, shaky foundation and you can find yourself in the grave. Because the otherwise regular normal dude that was respectful and loving. Seguin Jamanji. The fact that I'm just to just to have a man at all in your life that can kick you out of injury. The same guy, girlfriend Angela, that has her own house. That chick is still in danger. The, the woman who can't be successfully kicked out and do create any dent in this guy's heart or life. The woman that a guy can't take out Ikugu on. She's still a man. She's a man. Because Lenja Lena in a potential. You go when Lenja Lena is a person who is a person who is a person You need Christ. That is going to put you in the life of Indota. Engeke iglasele. Extra dinner. Sugu ka 11 p.m. Busiku. When I walk up, because you had an argument, you are told by some animal. Pumendi niam. Just like it. Kabang. Uzo kulunya with like that. Oto bua with like that. All of you emotions in Jefela just ignored. Nambi pambi bugger. Not out you trained up by God. And so yeah, zuk tele langoba. E e e avenue yok tele la icon. Gun and leg room yok tele la. So we are tele. Basadi tele kase ba le kase ratle ratoha kalo le kase ba tle ratoha kalo top point where you will ignore amat lering red flags. 
it is not about making sure that you have everything in, in, in a bunch before you get in a relationship. It is about the fact that it's untrustworthy to be with a dude that can't treat you well. Like rubbish. This woman was even speaking about Indota, be careful. Don't tell a man everything. Don't don't tell him Don't tell him when your sisters don't love you. When your mom treats you like trash. If at all you cannot be transparent full through with, with your husband about what's going on in your life and trust him to be good to you in spite of what's going on around you a person should not be utile should not use whatever is lacking in a person's life in order to gain any kind of advantage against that individual a godly man will love you with or without family a godly man will adore you only an orphan a godly man will not treat you like trash because a godly man is not going to tell you when you have an argument Yes, like it. He will go in the bedroom, close the door, and breathe. Or in and of himself, he'll take his keys, get, go out, take a drive, aquatil, and then come back. He might even maybe greet you. There's a way to fight. That's godly. There's a way to disagree. To have a bad day with each other. To kick you out. Or verbally abuse you. You get to Maybe like I said, two pull alone. Aba who do me this all low. Come alone, Jeffelanka Rujela Matlap. Marawa do me this anyway. You can pass a person shade, you can sleep in two different bedrooms. Man Quatelan. Mara, you don't get to say Pumen Linyam or Pumen Motwenyam. Middle of the N1 highway, Lenja lays or stop a wee yellow lane and says Pum. Yo, cause you're fighting. Kabang. Where is safety in that? Such men. I expect I mean I accommodate a Because argue. Hi, out on a limb in a no network zone. just leave me there and drive off. Yo, 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 I'm a woman. I need protection. I need to know that God has given me. That a man, might drive a little bit faster because he's a bit upset. But he will drive all the way home. He might bang the door. But nonetheless, that door that he's banging. He might sleep on the couch. But at least that he's paid for it. Because he's paying my way. If at all, a man cannot love me. Despite anything that I'm struggling with. I'm in danger, especially in the black community. We get taken for granted. They don't care. You are not going to find protection. You are not. Basadi. It is not about having your own something or your own whatever. Because at the end of the day, please, let's just put it out there. Life happens. Did it not? Never did I thought in my life that I would ever struggle to afford a grandpa. I'm a my portal for my period or even I'm a tampon for that matter. And yet look at me. And in the season, slithering A man that is that demon possessed It's bad enough How much more will a man or loyang or satan hakana or how much more is he going to manifest at the hands of a man? Multi-car vehicle pile up like some kind of carnage in Jefela where my body is disembodied. All of my limbs be flown all across these streets of Johannesburg. They wake a clock up and throw me off a building any day, but I'm not going to die at the hands of a man that I lay with at night. That has ever had my body. Who's who I have ever delivered children for? I get my intimate partner. Gender based violence, I'm sorry, I was not born for that thing. I spent like proper day and night dinner for the protection against Amatota Boli Lengoba. They are my pet peeve. So, anything else. something in effect. I can talk of a of molten lava. Kapos. The way God talks about the Lord, fast and furious before Naki Lobo Laki Munna. Fast and furious before Kilobo Laki Munna. And I know that that's a thing because in Yaba Avoida, that's my strategy. I guess by, if in Dota I funu so manja, I guess by, I'm not daba that I don't have my tampons and I eat a chair lime katwen that can ever go monawake or bolil where penina that is ever going to neglect me to a point where I will accommodate in Jenyanandaba. Nendaba Yogutin is where Ushu. 
as Jailuguti, he's going to put me in even more pain. Just so I will finally take whatever offer he has to give me. Along for Marenza, I descend. Kina, Kihona, now we get the child they are. Mar, I can't go on because I can't block it. Um, TB, I'll tell you, you get it type. It's a whole block. I can't keep my two mom lambo. We are Tagata Lenja. We are Tagata. And the type of guy to Anya J. Lugu to Nengulaza. I fabricate our text results. Wako na just so he can give it to you. Labanto Abana might say they have no scruples. Also, Tata and in times Alwani that's been celibate waiting on Christ for 13 years. Versus your niggas in Mulaza. So, so can't let's cut in Mulaza. So, so can't let's cut in I've been waiting on Christ. For a husband, for 13 years, I've been celibate. Besson your lalalendo, that the first time I have sex again after 13 years, I am out here contracting HIV. Kabang, kabang. Kin to sekiri bonang zeo by the grace of God. Kin a spiritual gift. And it's caused me this level of fever to avoid. Les inja les. But women, it's not going to do anything for you. To think Uguti, you can protect yourself by simply having material strength. Like I said, life happens. And la bafas la bababole so much lime katwin. These women are so rotten. They are so disgusting that because they will ditch you. They will ditch you. They will leave you high and dry so that you will settle. For Usizo Wakona, that all along you've had some like um, some kind of way bad, strong gut feeling guy. You've had a gut feeling Mount Everest ain't got jack on your gut feeling. The way it is so tall. Kotwa, these tiggins will leave you high and dry. Throw you out on a limb highwaying with oncoming vehicles, AZ20 that can't stop on time. Just so we can all, you know, kumbaya and celebrate being able to relate with one another. Lenja Ele, Yase America. He keeps on regretting the one night stand that he had. Claiming to be a Christian, he wasn't even supposed to be fornicating. He regrets his one night stand because he feels as if though if at all he didn't do his one night stand, he wouldn't have contracted HIV and so he would be with me. Lenja Le regrets the one night stand and not so much the sin against God of fornication. That's the problem. So if at all he did not contract Le Varasekon and I ended up married to him, uh, he was eventually going to get it most, if at some point. It was just a matter of when. It was because he was already he was a fornicator. So a man that can avoid HIV for long enough to marry you, Shem Askis, because he's not going to avoid it in the marriage. Uzog Nigeza yo. Now what protects you from a man Uzog Nigeza in Mulaza guys? What? Or rather correction. Who? It is God. Monawabusa wabasadi bana. Yes, like it, but it's feverish. It's a beast, one kutra. Get poho follow get down. Monawadi cherite. Bata ho lashela bela mona o serianing o kula wana di STD twent. Um sula ui vishi ui ntombi nto bazo glasha la window that that's sleeping with twenty women in one month o fufuri la di chere say fifty bese bazo glasha la bazo glasha la ntombi nto to a man like that ngaba fa zavanto amnyama labo umona wabo it's beastly umona wabo na it's beastly ana moto obatang protection ababa tle tireleto kaneti ababa tle njefe la orakao fela rulo kumba yara rulo leita leta barona rat rap wara clap wa rulo leita kata barona rarava swa rulo leita kata barona rithotsi ngola zako bana barona bari fletla media litle pele chuka moni ese se le the whatever virus like vaginal wards kau fela chanzi ringwa e in another regions and in so far as so ngi si busy kuyama antibiotics to overcome is super gonorrhea si grand singaba impinch but before then uzoka pola botigin. They will neglect you. So manje mase ushiwe gangaga. And this is a problem in particular for black women. Mashiwe gangaga by women. Like I said, in the middle of, of a highway. Ko N1. Busi hu. Osa abona khalwa perdia parote di nchu. Wotla di traka te itre. Mutoto hu siya ngurolo rolwa uva kiri kolwe yoruba hu bulay. Olo otolwa fela ose ngale zati le chaba. Olo di boni pasaka hu. Dio olwa ka kharaf. The way u bulay luen khabo tuku kateng. Khaba sadi bale hepi hu hu siya oleda. Ke ma ngotlo go tlosang mo highway yeng e bo before traka ya 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 yo kala e go e go rola e go drive before the first truck hits you before chase wa ke kolo ya b1 o bo chase and then the rest of them tsa ko mo ra go di vela fela di go flat in di etsa means miti ka bo ka mmelwa hao and e fela ha le tsa tsile tshabi le ke hona ba to tholang mmelwa hao and i speak like this cuz my mom used to know this one cop back in the day ipoisa that would tell us the, the gruesome horror stories of some of the scenes that he had basically been at and and one of the scenes the dude was was knocked over at night and overnight or BMW everything just like just over the body until in the morning it became clear but when people have been driving over a dead body it's not an carcass yeah animal it's a human being until somebody discovered Uguti, you guys have been driving over literally a human being and then they quarantined the scene and apparently they had to pick up his body parts 
abafazi bazo shia unja uyo because we moto be said the rest of them ride over your body and your body parts get collected nyakarafu because the negligence will have been so intense that our bo our zobo na ugutu shonile for a good 48 hours milwa kakota bo kina unha umungo wa putrefication wangutu mungo wa decomposition will be the thing that will alert your neighbors to understand ugutu mtu ushonil bese wena uyo picto up ngekharaf tshwantse go lo cremate to a mona because re ka se any other kind of burial tshwantse re tsa cremation because ayo engwe ayo engwe tsela everything else is too disturbing you are unidentifiable not even ngama dental records you have been dna that's the only way out dna test that's the only way that you can ever discover ukuthi ngubani nomuntu wena oshonil mm that's what's good lebola jwalo women are the ones that put you in a position re lolo rola ke dikoloi ke mang o tlo go tlosang pela traka etlang ba go sile ba go bindle hand and foot ba go aperise de ba ba go apetse apisitse di a parotse dintsho o roska bona hala busiu ha di o lo o lo tshetswa ke koloi ke mo who's going to remove you supernaturally from there ain't no man going to be able to come to you on time ain't no reasonable dude going to remove you from that space you need christ to protect you and to supernaturally deliver you from wicked women abazoglahlela in front of a moving truck of disgusting men abant by people in the black community guys basangene in a family like in your family in your family bazoglahlela bakpons nje to izinja that don't deserve you batate babona hore monna ke tshore 10 for the price of one and just run with it by your jaw njanje ngama make ka ka di mamlambo tsa bona who is going to protect you who christ is the only one that can have your back when your mother and father forsake you the black community is presently in disarray and very mentally ill in the run up to them recovering if at all you need protection in the run up to the black community coming out of their little schizophrenic era who is going to save you and your daughters because nobody has our back as black women again i'm out it's literally every man for himself unfortunately we are supposed to one another with one another got to asio vikel latina as black women unless we turn to jesus he's the only one that can protect you from some idiot that insists ukuthi ngena bani ongabi nama tampon on your period no muntu akhona kazi ukuthi what is like to feel period pains without medication mara it's a means to an end to him gara was pain don't mean jack ingembezi zakho during that time don't mean jack indaba yokuthi you are second guessing god during that time don't mean jack indaba yokuthi you are bashing your fist you are feeling forsaken you are feeling alone you are feeling suicidal they don't care because it's a means to a freaking end it's a means to an end banjal banjal what are you going to do when you need salvation from that jesus they will literally order events so as to orchestrate your eventuality in your in their lives basa go tshwanele ba tsheriane ba nna ba ene on top of that ba kula ha se ku kwenya di arv mara ba batla basadi ba bang ba ba already ba kwentsisitse basadi ba bona di arv mara ba batla lo nkanyatsi engwe e ba tlo ikwentsisang di arv vie vie wonke umuntu la mka tsweni kwamela kunya ma arv ngoba la matota abasbais ke le se ho habana di break habana full stop ke sentence ka ofela nje fela paragraph o tlam day 1 a enza itswela pele le pela ona ha gona comma ha gona exclamation mark ha gona underscore nothing no punctuation ha gona full stop ha gona di break if it is a drive ha gona di stop sign ha gona yield ha gona call the sec ha gona round about ha gona t junction ha gona robot nothing mutwatsa man nje fela bro 250 kilometers down go highway ying ha na taba hore ke eng atla ito atla atla hita ng animal or a human being top of that in and of himself a head on collision abas bye akuna ma break umuntu onyana ma break ikazo uzo deliver one nini from the vehicle and jefela that's just going and going and going uzo deliver one nini from a paragraph etla paragraph eng ena grammatical sense etla mpt njefela yonke akuna full stop akuna comma akuna underscore who is going to deliver you from that echo from that incoherent freaking sentence who who is going to end deliver you from that incoherent man there is no full stop no comma no underscore no yield sign no t junction no robot no full stop nothing we are banji just go 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 takes whatever he wants and by the end of his life you look at the littered cadavers in these streets the strewn dead bodies the carnage behind him of women that he has lain waste we are tatanja bodla 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 njengo mamangomandoza having given i don't know how many women hiv in the run up to like who kabzela having given i don't know how many women in the run up to banjal who is going to protect you from these men i kid you not it's not going to be your car it is not going to be the fact that you have your own house or the fact that you have a strong career it's going to be a god who can tell you ipogile lenja he's trying to replace me ipogile le satan he's trying to replace me he's trying to make you walk away from him because you don't have tampons on your period he is trying to replace me because you don't have you don't have painkillers on your period ipogile lenja eyakufuna ngenkani karabo mu resist resist the devil and he will flee from you i am trying to help you guys understand ukuthi there is no safety in your own little self protection there is a way that seems right to a man but in the end it leads to destruction lamatotala 
a tla go tawisa a go nwise wine ha ba ka tamo ba lo tlhoko fala ke full blown aids e le hore ke mang da bo depend on nursing them on their deathbed who we hospiceness we enjoy your hospiceness mo 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 girlfriend e thenge lo ama tempon go twa now your hospiceness the very same guy who can get the HIV, you are nursing him on his deathbed. Gunjal, Hojwal, how in the world are you going to take that in your stride? Who is going to protect you from that eventuality? Gaufel, I was thinking it's clamorous. The black community is cantankerous. It's loud. It's noisy. It's, 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 it's gongy. It's showy. Ha huna pomul. Cos kia sha nyo laim ka gwene ra tori swa. Ki banna dar okase mo so lishem. Until you lose something. And the next thing he rears his ugly head. Gushkuti ake abaya kwa bena disensi. It's not just the blue collar randos about lapo botigine. It even the ones by white collar. Ahona, ahona, terelezo other than in Jesu. We are alone as black women. Nobody is coming for us. No white man, no white woman. No Indian man, no Indian woman. No one, not even no black woman. We are uniquely and individually responsible to take care of ourselves. And there's no one okar terelezo nkanete other than God because spiritual weapons in the black community who shame ugtagata asike ko rata korobela king asike ko rata sabotage asike ko rata pull the rug from beneath the feet asike ko rata nka kariye asike ko rata foster mosadi ro lalo baleng wana are wedlock asike ko rata u khosa basadi ba bantle baleng viable lo kholo nyala kholo go sa go sa nyalwe ba 1040 with the single that get manipulated with spiritual weapons who is going to protect the individual unique black woman akuna mundulana other than jesus christ shem any minute now why cuz there's inja the baba sabotage ba loya ube o lahlegelwe ke career that you never thought you could ever lose top of your class best experience wonke umuntu is head hunting you on linkedin and yet next thing go try why cuz there's inja there's inja zibogile some high priestess has come at you cuz someone decided that you needed to be tripped up black people tina the way that we are so up and down up and down in our careers the way re lahlegelwang ke mesebetsi a strangely gateng the way re trentwang ha bo tlhoko gateng e rentsa re qualified like you pop up over stable next thing you are facing the loss of your bond yakho ngoba you have lost a job just like that the the ons and offs of our lives akhona stability akhona such a thing as mutho osebeditse from the time i tadile as i'm tricky all the way up until i retire without there being some kind of a patch or a season where you were facing repossession of a house you were facing kids getting taken out of private school you were forever chung our lives are just so up and down up and down like that cuz kwa lo you are Muto can't just be truly successful through and through because I mean really if ufundile and if you are highly skilled why should you ever be unemployed again from the time you work your first job the skills exodus in the country and the skills lack in the country is such that you should never ever be out of a job because akuna my skills are sufficient the government has has, has confirmed that themselves or there is a skills lack in the country so njengoma uso skilled njengoma ufunde ngangaka ngangaka why unga employ age why was why only unemployable Utlile jwang go tlobala u dula ko hype for 6 months. Utlile jwang go dula ko hype for month for for jaga ka o fela. Utlile jwang hore bonde e we ntsitseng 2 years ago you are facing having to sell kankane or repossession. Kanjani ufundile u graduate dile and you gain the experience kodwa akwazi ukuthola umsebenzi for 2 years yonke. Such rubbish happens in the black community over and over and over again. Who is going to protect you from lok sangana kwethu? Who? Hi, I need the bathroom.